from Pro Soberman to give you the audit, audited financial statement for the year ended uh, December 31, 2015. Okay. Thank you, Bob. Good morning. My name is Talia Rubin, and I am an account a partner with the accounting firm Crow Soberman LLP, the auditors of the college. I have been invited to briefly review the financial statements for the last fiscal year, being year ended December 31st, 2015. The financial statements are in the inside of the back cover of the 2015 annual report and include the auditor's report, the statement of financial position as at December 31st, 2015, and the statement of operations for the year ended December 31st, 2015. Comparative numbers for the prior year are also provided. The auditor's report describes the responsibilities of the college's management and the responsibilities of the auditors with relation to the annual financial statements presented to you. As auditors, we were able to express an unqualified opinion. You will find this in the last paragraph of the report, wherein we state, in our opinion, the financial statements present fairly, in all material respects, the financial position of the college as at December 31st, 2015, and, the res and its results for the year then ended in accordance with Canadian generally accepted accounting principles. The statement of financial position is a summary of the college's assets and liabilities as at December 31st, 2015. Total assets were approximately $10 million, made up of cash of $2 million, investments of $7.2 million, and equipment and leaseholds of about $550,000. The investments are split between short-term, which are those that mature in the 2016 year, and long-term, those with maturity dates after 2016. The investment consists of bonds, with maturity dates ranging up to December 2020. This ensures that funds will be available to the college when needed. Total liabilities were approximately 2.7 million, the largest component of which is deferred revenue. Deferred revenue represents membership fees collected in 2015 for the 2016 membership year. As you know, your membership fees for the 2016 calendar year were due and payable by December 31st, 2015. Liabilities also include accounts payable and accrued charges of approximately $105,000. This represents expenses incurred in 2015 for which payment was only made in 2016. The net assets of close to $7.1 million is total assets minus total liabilities. The amounts invested in equipment and leaseholds have been shown separately to arrive at unrestricted net assets or surplus. This is the amount that is available for the college to use in the future to continue to operate and achieve its goals. Future requirements not only include future annual operating expenses, but also the requirements to replace equipment, furniture and leaseholds as required, and the funding of future projects to be undertaken by the college to fulfill its mandate as a regulatory college. It is important to have in reserve sufficient funds to finance any potential expensive disciplinary hearing that could arise in the future. The statement of operations summarizes revenue and expenditures for the year. Expenditures for the year exceed revenues by approximately $192,000. The deficit is in accordance with the budget prepared by council. Council reviews their surplus annually, and if they think it is appropriate to reduce the surplus, they will budget for a deficit. Membership fees were increased slightly in 2015 in order to decrease this deficit. General, generally, expenditures during the year were in line with those of the previous year, except for premises rent and legal. The premises rent increased approximately $100,000 this year due to a rental increase in August 2015 and it being the first full year of rent for the additional space. Legal expenses have increased $180,000 due to additional hearing costs in 2015. Your single largest expense is salaries and benefits, 
accounting for approximately 55% of total expenditures. Salaries and benefits have increased by approximately 240,000 due to positions being filled in the current year that were vacant for the majority of 2014. The variances of expenses in the other categories are mainly dependent on projects undertaken by, sorry, are undertaken by the college in a particular year and comparing expenses to the prior year is not always relevant. I will not bore you with reviewing each of the line item of expenditures, but would be happy to answer any questions you may have on a specific expense. That concludes my report, which I promised would be brief. And as I said, if you have any questions on the financial statements, we'll be happy to answer them for you during the question period. Thank you.